Hello guys, this is my new YouTube channel. So I am going to do uh, some lectures on chemistry as well as biology. So today let us discuss about valence electrons, valency and covalency. Let us going to do a differentiation between valence electrons, valency and covalency. So first, what is valence electrons? The electrons which are present in the outermost shell of an atom is known as valence electrons. For example, let us take lithium. The atomic number of lithium is 3. When we write its electronic configuration 1s2 and 2s1, its outermost shell is having one electron. In the sense, it is considered as valence electron. So, if there is a question how many valence electrons are present in lithium, we know that it is having one valence electron in its outermost shell so the answer is one okay next what is valency the combining capacity of an element is known as valency or else it also can be expressed in the term of the number of hydrogens or the number of chlorine atoms or double the oxygen atoms which combines the atom of an another element is known as the valency okay so let us take an example for this valency so why carbon is attached only to four chlorine atoms because the valency of carbon is four it has the capacity to bind with chlorine only four chlorine atoms that is the reason why it is attached only to four chlorine atoms even you can take methane as an example so methane the formula is ch4 so it is attached to four hydrogen atoms why because its valency is four so now let us enter into the covalency the central atom of a molecule can have more than eight electrons in its valence shell so this concept is given by a scientist sidwick okay who, who has given the covalency concept covalency or maximum covalency concept Sidwicks so this concept was given by Sidwicks so what he is saying what the scientist is saying that the central atom of a molecule can have more than eight electrons in its valence shell or else the covalency is greater than four this is most important point am i right or not so in a short we can look after this valence electrons as well as valency by looking after this periodic table okay so the valence electrons is equal to the group number so the group number for alkali metals is one so the valence electron is one the group number of alkali earth metals is 2 so the number of valence electrons present in that group is 2 the number of valence electrons in third group is 3 in fourth group is 4 in fifth group is 5 why sir you are writing uh, uh, its group number is equal to its valence electrons because it is already proven that the group number is equal to the number of valence electrons that is the reason why each and every element in the particular group has the same valence electrons okay and also the valence electrons play important role in the chemical properties of the groups so the chemical properties of the groups are dependent upon the number of valence electrons present in it since the number of valence electrons in each and every group is same so the chemical properties are also same so let us see the valence electrons in sixth group is six in seventh group is seven and in eighth group is eight am i right or not now when we look after the valency till the carbon family it is same as of valence electrons but from here it changes 0 sorry 3 
two, one, zero. So please make a note of this because it is very simple. You need not to write the electronic configuration. You need not to search the number of electrons present in its outermost shell. So it is very easy. The group number is equal to number of valence electrons. So the group number of alkali metals is one. So I have written the number of valence electron in it is one. So the group number of boron is 3a. So the number of valence electrons present in it is three. In the same way, the covalency till carbon family, the it is same as of the number of valence electrons. Here it is changed. 3, 2, 1, 0. It is reversed. So now this, this is very important concept that it explains. So this Siddhi concept explains that why PCL why phosphorus in PCL, PCL5 molecule why phosphorus is combining only to 5 molecules of chlorine here it explains that because the phosphorus covalency where is the phosphorus in periodic table seats here the phosphorus covalency is 7 it belongs to third group so its valency is 7 so maximum covalency is 7 so till 7 molecules of chlorine it can bind after that it cannot bind because its covalency is maximum till 7 okay even sf6 for both the third period and fourth period the maximum covalency is 7 that is the reason why phosphorus is attached to 5 chlorine atoms and sulfur is attached to six chlorine atoms so this third group uh, sorry third period and fourth period maximum covalency is seven and everyone will be having a doubt why nitrogen will not combine with five molecules of fluorine because nitrogen nitrogen belongs to second period the second period's maximum covalency is 4 okay maximum covalency is 4 that is the reason why it cannot bind with 5 molecules of fluorine but NF3 is possible am I right or not here we can expect one question okay so please look after in first period the maximum covalency is 1 and the maximum shared electrons is 2 you double just you double it and in second period the maximum covalency is 4 the number of shared electrons is 8 in third and fourth the maximum covalency is 7 and the maximum shared electrons is 14 and from fifth onwards the maximum covalency is 8 and the maximum number of shared electrons is 18 I hope you all have understand this video so as this is my first video there might be little mistakes so please if there is any mistakes please put it in a comment session and if it is nice and if it is good and if you like my lectures please share subscribe and comment okay thank you